welcome back. Today I'll show you my best places to get Dragon Glory, Life Bloom, Spirit Sprout, Rivercrest, Earthspine, Shock Bulb, and Blight Root. I've got an epic route through Monarch's Bluff to show you. This route will get you every single type of elemental plant in the game. And then I've got a second epic route through Windward to show you. I've also got a few smaller places where you can go to get a small amount of a specific type of plant. There's Blightroot in Weaver's Fen, Life Bloom and Shock Bulb in First Light, Soul Sprout in Everfall, and a little touch of Dragon Glory in Brightwood. Timestamps are in the description if you want to jump ahead. But before you do that, you're going to want to max out your harvesting luck before doing one of these farms. The more harvesting luck you have, the more chance you have of getting the rarer items, such as a leaf or a flower. You can hang a trophy in your home. These will give you a flat increase to your luck. A minor harvesting luck trophy gives you about 500 luck, and they're pretty cheap on the trading post. You'll also want to wear some gear that has harvesting luck on it. You can buy this at the trading post. Or if you have a verbena leaf, you can craft your own gear with harvesting luck. These verbena leaves have a small chance to drop when gathering hemp or other fibers. But you can also just buy them off the trading post. I gave my leaves to one of my mates who crafted me some gear with harvesting luck on it. You can also get harvesting luck on your sickle. You can use a star metal botanist charm to guarantee harvesting luck. Or you can just use them as off then hope for the best. Or just buy a sickle that has the luck on it off the trading post. And of course you can cook up some harvesting luck food. You need corn to craft harvesting luck, so make sure you eat this before you go out harvesting. Alright, let's start with my mini roots. These are places you can go to quickly grab a bunch of a certain type of plant, but there's not enough here to continuously farm a root. Weaver's Fen is a great place to grab some blight root. Simply run north out of the settlement, run through the marsh until you get to the big bridge. On the other side of the bridge you'll find a destroyed town. Blight root grows all around this area, so if you're ever in Weaver's Fen, be sure to pop up here for a quick bag load of death motes. One of my favourite zones is First Light. Down in the bottom right corner is an island that contains a lot of life bloom and shock bulb. Basically, just check out the entire area around these ruins, and you'll have a decent amount of life bloom and shock bulb in no time. Now, this one is really super short, but I just wanted to point out that there are five Dragon Glory plants just north of the Brightwood settlement. So, if you're ever in Brightwood, why not take a minute to run out of the gates? up towards the north and bag yourself some fire motes. Finally, if you need a bucket load of soul sprout, Everfall is the place to go. I'm not going to take you through this entire route, but basically from the settlement you can run southeast down towards the Shattered Obelisk. All around these ruins there are tons of soul sprouts. Then you can head out east where there's a ruined bridge. This also has lots of soul sprout all around it. The Pirate Cove in the northeast has a fair bit of soul sprout around it. And finally, the farm up in the north has a lot of soul sprout as well. Let's start with my epic route through Monarch's Bluffs. This route starts in Cutlass Keys and weaves up and around and all through the zone. We'll get every type of elemental plant on this route. Let's start from the Cutlass Keys settlement. From there, run north down towards the river. I'll narrate the compass directions for you as we go. Crossing the river will bring us into Monarch's Bluffs. Run west along the top of the cliffs until you get your first Dragon Glory. Then head northwest across this plain. You should be able to see the three Dragon Glory. Keep going northwest. Cross the road. There will be more Dragon Glory in the forest. Go north up the hill. There will be three Shock Bulb. Run to the east towards the Dragon Glory. Then northeast for another three shock bulb. Northwest, just over this rise, are a couple of life bloom. Head due west and collect the Dragon Glory. Then northwest to get some shock bulb. Towards the east, you'll see some Dragon Glory. Keep going east for more Dragon Glory. Then go north, crossing the road for more shock bulb. Go northeast along the rocks for more shock bulb. Then southeast 
Hidden behind some rocks is more shock bulb. Follow the cliff east, cross through these ruins, and there's some dragon glory on the other side. Go east and grab the life bloom. There's another life bloom down to the south. Then go west for a bunch of shock bulb. There's some more shock bulb to the northwest. Now run northeast across the river and into the forest is some life bloom. Now head east over the rocks through the forest until you see the next life bloom. Now run southeast, there should be three earth spine. Go northeast along the edge of the forest until you see the life bloom. Then go north and you should see the earth spine. Just keep running north through the forest and you should get a bunch of earthspine. Keep doing this until you get near the farmhouse, then head west, about 285 on your compass for more earthspine. From there go south by southwest, there should be three life bloom. Then go northwest, jump off the cliff to these crossroads. Run up the road towards the northwest. In the forest on your right hand side you'll see some earthspine as well as a bit of life bloom. Go east to get some earth spine, then south to get some more. Then go east, crossing the road to get some dragon glory. Then continue east, cross another road to get some life bloom. Continue east around this rock and you'll come to a farm. This farm is full of blight root, so run through and grab as much as you can. Once you've cleared out the farm, run to the north and follow the river to the north. There will be one last blight route near this shack and some river crests near the waterfall. Run to the southwest, up the rocks and there should be some life bloom. Then head northwest through the trees and there should be more life bloom. Down by the water is some river crests, then trudge north through the lake to get some soul sprout. Leave the lake to the east, grabbing this river, river cress. Follow the river southeast to get some river crests, and then head east across the rocks. Then go north into the forest to get this life bloom. Then northeast to get these dragon glory. Go north to get some earth spine. Then southeast to get some more. Continue east about 105 to get some dragon glory. Then northwest about 3.30 to get some earth spine. Northwest will take us to this life bloom near some ruins. Then southwest back through the trees to get some dragon glory. Then we go north till we hit the road. Follow the road north till we get some soul sprout. Then go southwest for some more. Go northwest for some life bloom. Then southwest through the trees to find some more. Continue southwest, cross the road, and get this life bloom. Then go west, through the ruins, and out the other side. Follow the road northwest, but go to the west to get this shock bulb. There's like seven shock bulb here. Then cross the road to the east, there should be even more shock bulb. Now run north through this mining camp and out the other side. Here you'll find another stockpile of, stock of shock bulb. Then go northeast. There will be some life bloom here. Then continue northeast up this mountain, lots of shock bulb. Then head north, there's some life bloom around this house. Continue north, grab the shock bulb near the bend in the road, then head east, and grab this river crest by the lake. Then go north, under the bridge, and get the life bloom and the earth spine. 
Continue north and there should be a couple of river crests. Then continue north along the road and towards this farm. There's heaps of soul sprout all over this farm. So go and grab it all. And once you're done, head back up the road to the west, back up the hill. Once you enter Monarch's Bluffs, turn south, and we're going to run south through these ruins. The rest is pretty straightforward. Just run through these ruins, collect all the plants, and just sort of head in a general southerly direction. Here's my epic route through Windsward. We leave the settlement to the south. I'm not going to give compass directions like I did for the route through Monarch's Bluffs because that took me way too long to edit. But hopefully you can use this map and the sped up gameplay to help you out. Basically from the settlement we run through the bush towards the south and we're generally heading down towards First Light. The first leg of this route has a lot of fire, a lot of dragon's glory. This route has a pretty good mix of pretty much every elemental plant, but it is lacking in shock bulb. In fact, this route has pretty much everything except shock bulb. So if you need shock bulb, maybe consider running the Monarch's Bluffs route instead, which has a ton of shock bulb, or you can check out my little mini farm over in First Light. Of course, that little one in First Light isn't really a route that you can just keep running non-stop. There can sometimes be a bit of competition around Windward, but usually people farming around here are looking for hemp or iron. They're usually not interested in the elemental plants. So I usually have no trouble getting all the plants I need. If you find that someone else has taken your plants, don't worry too much about it, just keep running the route. Since this route takes you all over the zone, you're bound to find places with no competition. As we get down towards the first light border, we basically start heading towards the west, running along the river. There's a lot of river crests for us to get along the river. In fact, there's a lot of river crests to get throughout this entire route. I guess because Windsward is such a crisscross of rivers and streams, so there's a lot of river crests around. There's a waterfall here that we can drop down. There's a bunch of plants at the top of the waterfall as well as down near the bottom. This pirate camp has a little bit of blight root. And then we keep running down the waterfall and keep following the river for quite a distance. Before we reach the bridge, we'll cross the river and head towards this farm. There's a lot of elemental plants through this farm as well as up along the river. Once we clear the place out, we can cross the river and start heading north. A bit of dragon glory out in the open. Some river crests along the river. And then we start heading east, back towards town. There's a lot of soul sprout through this forest, so keep an eye on your compass as you run through here.
The farm has a bit of dragon glory, but also has a bunch of corn, which we're going to need for harvesting our food, so I always stop to get the corn. Now you can probably end the route here if you want, and head back to Windswood Town. But otherwise, you can run west, back through this forest, where you can get a bunch of soul sprout, some life bloom, and some blight root. When we get to the river, we can cross it over to these grasslands. You can probably see the Dragon's Glory in the distance, it's easy to spot on these plains. So just keep running west until you get all the Dragon Glory. Then we head north along the river, there's some river crests, and then cross the river and you should be able to see the Dragon's Glory. Now we can run down through this forest, and you can probably see the dragon glory through the trees. Then head out onto the plains where there's some more dragon glory and some life bloom. Now to finish up this route, we can run through the forest near the excavation dungeon. There's heaps of blight root through this forest, and even a bit of soul sprout as we get further north. But really, just run through the area and you'll get a ton of blight root. As we come out near the town, there's a few Dragon Glory to pick up as well. And that's pretty much the whole route.